Hello everyone, welcome to today's topic. Today we are going to see updated active code base of TaskT. In the past, we've been using TaskT's site, which has not been active for uh, almost all two years now, but it's been forked by uh, this particular site, which is TaskT UOB, which is an active site wherein you can see constant updates every other week, you, any of the issues getting updated constantly. So you can get that thing from this site today we're going to show to get an active updated code base from and which we will be using it eventually as we go on so let's dive into it so launch your favorite browser in my case i'm launching google chrome you can either go to the site just http dot github dot io slash task t hyphen u o b from here you can able to you can access to the installation and from the installation you can go to the release page which will eventually take you to a github location here you can see this is being constantly updated on a regular base basis two week ago last week and then this is the last week so every other week this has been updated so if you take past the actual site where this code base has been maintained and let's go to the release site which is over here um, so they had 43 releases but the last release if you can see here for this was 2020 um, after that it, it has not been updated and the last version which you see is 305 uh, which is the la last latest and greatest version and after may it was not updated so which which implies it it you may not get support beyond this point and have uh, uh, some of the features or functionality may not be working uh, to do so as toub has forked this code base went on updating the site which you can able to download task toub which is pretty much everything uh, related to that is available over here if you really see this has been constantly updated last week it's been updated updated uh, from the update standpoint so you can say the latest you can see the code base for for the version also it has some of the enhanced features and capabilities which you can also leverage it's it's better let's let's download this and uh, the download procedure is as similar as we have seen it so just download this and you have this download location once this is downloaded go to the download look folder or folder wherever you have this go to the folder and then folder is located i can cut it and you can bring it to C drive and then the C drive, you can just specify a folder called task T and then you can specify the version, whichever the version is, I would say a task T or to rename it 305, 3.5. And then I'm going to just place our file and I'm going to extract it. Say based on your computer speed, the extraction happens. So once the extraction is complete, so this is extracted and this is loaded. So I can delete the zip file which i don't need it at this point of time and then you can go to this location i'm going to collect cut all of them select all cut it and bring it back into my main folder so that i don't have to really go to multiple steps um so it makes it simple so you have the task t here and when you click on this it opens and then everything looks same just if you click on this it gives you version a latest version and build details and like let's compare with the one which we have or it which it's pretty much same except except from the title standpoint is uob also but if you see here the the directory structure and folder structure and option structures are more than what you see here um which is which is over here so you can see more options are available here and if you expand any of these like which have seen it for example dictionary commands you have only four options here if you go over there here in the um you can see more options you can say convert you can do reactions so you can see more options for each uh, aspects of it which implies you can do your uh, uh, robotization work or creating bot work much more faster and easier because a lot of keywords and methods are already being added here so we will be using it each uh, as we go on but the core fields and core uh, functionalities are pretty much same. You can see all the things are available over here. So as we go on, we'll be using task a UOB version for our bot creation examples, as well as we can use task T. So we'll cover both common features. You can use either of them for your uh, bot creation work. But I would I highly recommend to go for task T UOB because it has all the fixes. So thank you for watching. See you another one.